for this lesson, it may be useful to have access to the additional vocabulary sheet so that you can refer to the body parts that, um, that will be used in this in this lesson. Now, if we want to say my head hurts, my head hurts, you can see on your sheet the word for head is la cabeza, la cabeza, that's the head, la cabeza. And to say my head hurts, the phrase is me duele la cabeza, me duele la cabeza. And the way this structure works in Spanish, it's saying duele means it hurts, duele is it hurts. So me duele, it hurts me. And what is it that's hurting me? It's the head or my head. So me duele la cabeza. It hurts me, the head, or the head hurts me. Me duele la cabeza, me duele la cabeza. So, me duele la cabeza. Me duele, duele, is spelled D-U-E-L-E. -E. Me duele, me duele la cabeza. How would you say, my head hurts a lot? Me duele la cabeza mucho. Me duele la cabeza mucho. How about, I can't come, I have a headache. Or, I can't come, my head hurts. No puedo venir. Me duele la cabeza. No puedo venir. Me duele la cabeza. The word for throat, or the throat, is la garganta, la garganta, g-a-r-g-a-n-t-a, -A, la garganta. And how would you say, my throat hurts? Me duele la garganta. Me duele la garganta. How would you say, I have a sore throat. I sang a lot yesterday. I have a sore throat. I sang a lot yesterday. And to sing is cantar. Cantar. I think maybe of chanting. C-A-N-T-A-R. Cantar, to sing. So, my throat hurts. I sang a lot yesterday. Me duele la garganta. Canté mucho ayer. Me duele la garganta. Canté mucho ayer. And the stomach is el estómago, el estómago, el estómago, the stomach. E-S-T-O-M-A-G-O, -E estómago. How would you say, I have a stomach ache or my stomach hurts? I think that... It's something that I ate. My stomach hurts. I think that it's something that I ate. Me duele el estómago. Pienso que es algo que comí. Me duele el estómago. Pienso que, o creo que, es algo que comí. How would you say, I drank too much yesterday, and now I have a stomachache, or now my stomach hurts. 
I drank too much yesterday and now my stomach hurts. And too much is demasiado, demasiado, too much. Demasiado, D-E-M-A-S-I-A-D-O, demasiado. So I drank too much yesterday and now I have a stomach ache. Bebí demasiado ayer y ahora me duele el estómago. Bebí demasiado ayer y ahora me duele el estómago. Now, if it's more than one thing that's hurting, we can't say it hurts, but they hurt. So if my eyes are hurting me, or my feet. So instead of duele, it becomes duelen, duelen. They hurt, duelen. So, for example, the word for feet are pies, los pies. Los pies. Pies spelled pies, but obviously not pronounced like that. Pies. Los pies, the feet. So my feet hurt. Me duelen los pies. Me duelen los pies. Eyes are los ojos. Los ojos. O J O S. Los ojos. So me duelen los ojos. If it was just one eye, my eye. Me duele el ojo. Me duele el ojo. But when it's plural, we need to say they hurt. So, me duelen los ojos. How would you say my legs hurt? My legs hurt. And my legs, or the legs, are las piernas. Las piernas. <coughs> spelt P-I-E-R-N-A-S. Las piernas. So my legs hurt. Me duelen las piernas. Me duelen las piernas. How would we say, I played football a lot yesterday and now my legs hurt. I played football a lot yesterday and now my legs hurt. Jugué mucho al fútbol ayer y ahora me duelen las piernas. Jugué mucho al fútbol ayer y ahora me duelen las piernas. How about, I was going to go to the cinema, but my eyes hurt. I was going to go to the cinema, but my eyes hurt. And to the cinema is al cine, al cine, to the, al, a-l, and cine, c-i-n-e, al cine, to the cinema. So I was going to go to the cinema, but my eyes hurt. Iba a ir al cine, pero me duelen los ojos. Iba a ir al cine, pero me duelen los ojos. So I was going to, iba a, to go, ir. Al cine, pero me duelen los ojos. How about my feet hurt? The shoes that I bought are too small. My feet hurt. The shoes that I bought are too small. And the word for small if we've forgotten it, is pequeño, pequeño, p 
P-E-Q-U-I-N-O, pequeño. So the question is, or the sentence is, my feet hurt, the shoes that I bought are too small. Me duelen los pies. Los zapatos que compré son demasiado pequeños. Me duelen los pies. Los zapatos que compré son demasiado pequeños. So, demasiado for too much or too. And you need to remember that because we're talking about shoes in plural, therefore the small has to be plural as well. So, pequeños. So, one more time. Me duelen los pies. Los zapatos que compré son demasiado pequeños. When you want to say how long you have done something, in Spanish you just use the present tense. So if you wanted to say that I have lived here, I have lived here, for 10 years, you say, I live here for 10 years. And the, there's a little phrase that they use to mean for here, and it's not para. Uh, it literally means since so many days ago, since so much time ago. So, desde hace Dos días would be four days, and it literally means since two days ago. Desde hace una semana, for a week, or since a week ago. So you would be saying, vivo en España desde hace dos semanas. So I've lived in Spain for two weeks. So, desde hace is the key phrase meaning for a certain amount of time since so long ago. So, desde, D E S D E, which means since, hace, H A C E, which is the ago part, and then the rest of the phrase. So, desde hace, desde hace una semana, desde hace dos años, since two years ago, for two years. So, how would we say, I have lived here for two years? I have lived here for two years. And remember, we're saying, I live here since two years ago. Vivo aquí desde hace... Dos años. Vivo aquí desde hace dos años. How about I have worked in Madrid for three months or since three months ago? I have worked in Madrid for three months and one month is un mes, M-E-S, and in plural it's meses, M-E-S-E-S, -E meses. So, I have worked in Madrid for three months. Trabajo en Madrid desde hace tres meses. Trabajo en Madrid desde hace Tres meses. How about I have had a headache or my head hurts for three days.
Me duele la cabeza desde hace tres días. Me duele la cabeza desde hace tres días. How about I've had a stomach ache or my stomach hurts for a week or since one week ago. Me duele el estómago desde hace una semana. Me duele el estómago desde hace una semana. Okay, um, a couple of health expressions which use estoy or I am, and obviously if that was you are, estás, he or she is, está. If we want to say I am ill, we say estoy. Estoy enfermo, I'm infirm, estoy enfermo, I'm ill. And also estoy mareado, I'm dizzy, estoy mareado. Mar is the sea. It's a bit like dizzy, seasick. Mareado. M-A-R-E-A-D-O. Estoy mareado. And a girl or woman would say, estoy mareada. How would you say, I'm very dizzy. I can't work. Estoy muy mareado. No puedo trabajar. Estoy muy mareado. No puedo trabajar. And how about I've been dizzy for two days or I am dizzy for two days. Estoy mareado desde hace dos días. Estoy mareado desde hace dos días. What about she's a bit dizzy? I think that she's drunk too much wine. She's a bit dizzy. I think that she's drunk too much wine. And remember, she's drunk will be she has drunk. Está un poco mareada. Creo que ha bebido demasiado vino. Está un poco mareada. Creo que, o pienso que, ha bebido demasiado vino. One to look out for with estoy, or estar, to be, estoy, is estoy constipado, estoy constipado. Constipado. And it doesn't mean what it sounds like. It means I have a cold. I have a cold. So estoy constipado means I have a cold. C O N S T I P A D O. Estoy constipado. I have a cold. If you prefer, if you're not comfortable saying that, another word for a cold is resfriado. Resfriado. So you can say estoy resfriado. R-E-S-F-R-I-A-D-O. Estoy resfriado. So, estoy constipado o estoy resfriado. 
How do we say it was raining yesterday when I went out and now I have a cold? It was raining yesterday when I went out and now I have a cold. Estaba lloviendo ayer cuando salí y ahora estoy constipado. Estaba lloviendo ayer cuando salí y ahora estoy constipado, estoy resfriado. How about, I've had a cold for a week. I've had a cold for a week. Estoy resfriado desde hace una semana. O estoy constipado desde hace una semana. How about, I hate to have, or I hate having, a cold. I hate to have a cold. And remember, they're not actually using the word to have in this phrase. So what is the version, the infinitive of estoy? So, odio o detesto estar constipado. Odio, detesto, estar resfriado.